Hi Shoebox friends, this is Denise with D. Rogers. Welcome back for another unboxing for Operation Christmas Child. Today's unboxing is a collaboration with my good friend Trish from Bird Feed. So if you're watching this video first, be sure to check hers out after you watch this video. I'll put a link in my description at, at the end of the video that'll take you directly to hers. The name of this collaboration is Bambi and Friends and I decided to do it my box for a girl age two to four. So let's take a look at what I packed. Today I've used a box that's a little bit taller than an Operation Christmas Child standard box. You'll see why I did that in a minute. And I've wrapped it in this really cute Disney paper that I got from Dollar Tree. And you can see Bambi is right there in the middle. And it's got all the Disney characters on it. And I have a label here that you can get free from Operation Christmas Child, the Samaritan's Purse website, and I've marked it for a girl age two to four. When she opens her box, this is what she'll see right on the lid is a picture, this is just a calendar picture of a little deer, baby deer that looked like Bambi to me and the lettering says, you are loved. Just a fun thing to do is to decorate your lids. And then right on top popping out is Thumper, Bambi's friend. And I got this cute little one from Walmart, last Easter clearance, 90% off. He's a really soft um, textured bunny that I think she'll love to cuddle. I've also given her a pink bouncy ball to play with. I get those at Dollar General. She has two pair of underwear and a little organza bag. And these are Looney Tunes underwear size four. And it has some um, Bugs Bunny on there. She has uh, a cute little hat in here. I'm hoping that this will hold its shape when she gets it. Um, it's kind of difficult to pack it, but you'll see it's a little straw hat. It kind of opens up and this is part of an outfit that I got from Marshalls. It's kind of got a little pink and white, uh, not pink, a uh, little yellow and white coloring to it. So um, I'll show you the outfit that goes so sweetly with it. I've given her a nice little uh, pencil pouch of, filled with school supplies. She has the usual pencils. And then I have a green and yellow Ticonderoga pencil. And the colors in this box are mostly green, yellow, and a little bit of pink. She has a nice pen and gear eraser. And then I recently found this click pen, which I thought was so pretty and reminded me of all the flowers in the Disney movie Bambi that Thumper sniffs. Uh, it's a click pen. And I thought that was cute. And then she has some novelty pencils that have bunnies on it. And then just some regular, regular pencils as well. So that's her pencil stash. I forgot to show you that on her pencil pouch, I've attached this cute little charm that looks like Bambi. And she's securely attached to the zipper pull on the pouch. She has a hygiene bag and in her bag she has a yellow lip balm. She has a little toothbrush in a little baggie, nail clippers, nail files, a very soft mint green washcloth that I get on Amazon, the scalloped edges, and then a whole bunch of hair accessories in green, yellow, and white. Just a variety for her. She has a cute little Bambi, little deer. I got this at Target uh, after Christmas clearance. And I really like it because the texture is really soft and can be a very soothing feel for a little one. I thought that was really cute to add, although Thumper is 10 times the size of Bambi. <laughs> And I also added this little Bambi from a McDonald's toy that I thought was really cute. And I don't think this one stands up. Oh, there we go. Okay, she has a car with a little girl in it. This is one of those Wonder Maker cars. I really like these. 
they come apart like a puzzle and you can put them back together and the little girl looks this way and then she looks sideways so really cute and I thought that was really fun for a little one she has a nice hairbrush little yellow hairbrush I get these on Amazon she has a half composition book with a little Bambi sticker on the front Okay, I made her a little drawstring bag. This was some fabric that I had around my house um, that I guess I got at probably Joann's, Joann Fabrics. And it has, it has all the Disney characters, but front and center is Bambi and Thumper. You can see them on both sides. Inside her bag, I've given her a puzzle. And this was a Bambi, well, I guess it's a deer puzzle. I think it's a 24 piece that I got from Dollar Tree. And I cut off the top of the box. I wanted to use the box and flatten it, but the box was damaged. So I just cut off the picture. It did come with a resealable bag. And then I tucked it in this little bag so she can, if she wants, keep it in this bag when she is done playing with it. And then she also has some uh, washable markers, Crazy Art washable markers. I think these are great for toddlers. I use them in my preschool and um, they're washable, so I think that that's good. She has another little bag with the same fabric with Bambi on the front. This just has a little pink pull. And inside she has some jewelry. So I've given her this beautiful necklace and bracelet. These were donated by a very sweet friend of mine really pretty and I think she got these from Claire's and then I have a little pink heart with two little bunny earrings attached that I got from Walmart on Clarence last year underneath that she has a cute little straw purse now I got this one from Dollar General but they do have these at Dollar Tree um, I actually got this for 10 cents at Dollar General and it had a different color flower on it and I removed the flower and I had this flower in my craft stash and I hot glued the yellow flower to the bag. So it's just a cute little bag. It will match her outfit. You'll see in just a minute. She has some jumbo crayons. She has some scissors. Uh, she has a few of these um, skateboard stickers that are Bambi and Thumper. And I put them in a little plastic baggie. This is her pencil sharpener. It's a dual hold pencil sharpener. And I think I got this one on Amazon. And then her outfit, I just love her outfit. Um, I got this from Marshall's last summer or after summer clearance. Marshall's is a great place to find clothing at discount. So cute. It's a little... Um, white and yellow skirt and it's just like a cotton material and then the shirt and these are made by uh, Mac Studio Kids and that's the tag the shirt has a little girl on it and she's holding a little basket which I kind of attribute to this little purse and there's a little bunny in the corner so I thought this was really cute for this box and that's why I decided to, to pack it. And that's the little bit of pink that's in the box along with the car. And so you'll see this is the hat, how that goes with her little outfit there. And then that's her purse. Isn't that cute? I hope you can see that good on camera. Okay, she has a card from us. It says someone small and sweet. It's a Bambi and Thumper card, and inside we have our family photo and my, my note to her. I've given her a rabbit lacing card. This is a Melissa and Doug lacing card that I just broke up the set. I included one of them. She has some Bambi, I guess it's just Bambi on here, a little pair of socks. I think I got these from Walmart. She has a little yellow cross that I got from Oriental Trading. 
she has a little puzzle this is a four piece popsicle puzzle and that's why I included the washable markers because you can use the markers to color this this puzzle was wood burned by a friend of mine named Mel um, and I will put her link in my description she does this kind of work she makes these wood puzzles and she did several for me last year and Bambi was one of the ones I had asked her to do so I thought that was really cute and she does beautiful great work she does a lot of different craft things that I've used for Operation Christmas Child all right I've given her a tablet and activity pad this is just a nice activity pad with lots of paper in it for coloring and drawing and then on the bottom she has a book I think I got this at Dollar Tree <laughs> and it's a Bambi book and it's just the story of Bambi and Thumper it's really cute I think they have several books at Dollar Tree for some of the different Disney stories and we're getting near the bottom this is a lovey that I made a really soft lovey made with minky material and a little silk hook and what inspired me to start doing these again is last year I did some washcloths they weren't made out of minky they were just made out a, of a um, like a snuggle fabric and I heard back from a recipient and she was all dressed up in her outfit holding the washcloth like a lovey um, so I thought you know I'm gonna start making some of these again and this is a, a nice material that I had that has a deer on it and it just has woodland creatures porcupine a butterfly and I thought this was really pretty and then it's yellow on this side with the little tag so I thought that was really sweet she has some stickers these are some Disney stickers that I got in my thrift store and you can see Bambi is right there and I think these are the same yeah they're both the same and then finally actually there's two more things she has a paint with water book with a cute little deer on the front that reminded me of Bambi I've given her two little paint brushes and these are cute these are at the Dollar Tree where you don't need any paint just a little bit of water and then her last book on the bottom these just came out at Dollar Tree and you can still find them it's a bunnies Disney colortivity book with thumper on the front I thought that was so sweet and I featured this in my Dollar Tree haul the pictures are on nice white crisp paper and right in the middle there are these fantastic thumper stickers I thought they were so cute so that's her coloring book so that completes my Bambi and Friends, which is a little more thumpery than Bambi, but <laughs> I really enjoyed putting this together. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Again, it's for a girl age two to four. If you're coming here first, be sure to head over to Trish at Bird Feed to watch hers also. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. God bless you. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.